Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, it's time for another drive time rant. Yes, it's back. I haven't done this uh, segment in quite some time because I've been pretty much uh, leaving my rants for the Amp Hour radio show, which I do with Chris Gamble. So if you haven't checked that out, the amphour.com, small plug there. Uh, but I thought I'd, I'd jump back in and do another drive time rant. And this time around, I thought I'd give some advice because I'm full of advice. Oh yeah. I thought I'd give some advice to the semiconductor manufacturers, namely the ones that have the uh, active products like the you know, microcontrollers, microprocessors, FPGAs, that sort of stuff. Because I think some of them are in need of advice. So here we go. Dave's top five tips for uh, having a successful, getting a successful product out there for market. What these um, semiconductor manufacturers need to do to get their product and penetrate the market, both the high end and the low end markets, but we'll get into that. Anyway, top five tips. Here we go. Number one. Way, we're off. Tip number one stock. These are in order, roughly in order of importance, but you can say they're all equally important, okay? Number one is stock. If people cannot, if engineers, hobbyists, whoever, cannot buy your parts and both in low, medium and high volume, then they're not going to touch them, okay? You need visible stock on DigiKey, Mouser, uh, Farnell, sorry, Element 14, whatever the wank name is this week. Uh, they've rebranded themselves, ridiculous waste of time. Anyway, that's just an aside. Um, you need visible stock on these sites. Now I'm not just talking 50 or 100 parts because if you're looking to design in a a part for a new uh, project or something like that and you're the first place you are going to go generally I've mentioned this before is uh, you know the likes of the component distributors not the traditional distributors I'm talking about the online catalog distributors DigiKey, Mouser, you know uh, Element 14 slash Farnell those sort of places are where people go and you know it's not good enough quite frankly to have um, you know, 50 or 100 parts there that that doesn't instill a lot of confidence that doesn't want me to design in that part into my next uh, project because if it's successful then well where am I going to get the parts from right it's bullshit I'm not going to trust that particular manufacturer or that particular um, series of devices or whatever okay so you need stock not just you know a couple of hundred I'm talking 5,000 10,000 they're the sort of figures if I see those on parts in Mouser or DigiKey or whoever then I'm gonna feel very confident about designing in that particular part now that might be an, an illusionary thing but it works okay uh, having the the illusion of having parts potentially down the track is a huge draw and you've got to have that that's tip number one tip number two is you've got to have usable packages none of this BGA shit none of this you know uh, bloody uh, micro you know these QFP packages and uh, sorry um, uh, chip scale packages and all that sort of crap no I want something that I can damn well solder into prototypes low medium volume manufacture something that I'm going to get a good yield with in manufacture so we're talking dip and we're talking SO and we're talking uh, reasonable reasonable pitch uh, QFP not 0.5 millimeter go to you know go up a bit I need reasonable packages if I can't get those BGAs and um, and chip scale packages and all the uh, all the rest of them they're all fine for consumer items very high volume stuff once you've got your manufacturing process down pat but it doesn't uh, you, you're just not going to attract the uh, the low to medium um, scale people with those sort of packages dip and SO please oh God Tip number three, um, where you need uh, cheap or free development tools, okay? Now, look, they don't have to be free. I know uh, Microchip have been 
on this um, thing before they say, oh, they won't give away their their development tools. You know, they won't. They want to make it a small amount of money on it. Well, that's fine, okay. But they need cheap, readily available uh, development tools. And if you don't have those, then well, you're not going to penetrate the market. So forget it. <clears throat> Now, um, the uh, fourth one is um, open source, okay? You need open source, um, not only development tools preferably, not like your GCC, C compilers and stuff like that, you need to support those at a manufacturing, um, from the manufacturer level, okay? It's not good enough just to leave it up to someone else to do a, one guy in a garage to write a GCC port for that particular, you know, for your brand of micro or something like that, and then, you know, thinking that can cut it. It doesn't. You've got to have proper manufacturer backing of, you know, open source uh, tools, and that's just not, um, that's just not the compilers. I'm talking about the, uh, you know, the drivers, things like, you know, TCP IP stacks and and uh, serial port drivers and all sorts of, and all the other stuff. Um, even, you know, real-time OSs and things like that. Very important, okay? Tip number five, um, support standard platforms. Like, you know, get involved and support and encourage at the, man once again, at the manufacturing level, um, support standard platforms like Arduino or, um, you know, uh, BeagleBoard are good examples, the TI MSP platform, I guess, the new little um, uh, $4.30 job or something like that. They're trying to create a little standard there. Just, you know, try and create these standards and back them. Or if there's an, a standard already out there, use it and jump on board. I mean, um, you don't see the likes of uh, Atmel and those sort of companies um, getting involved with the Arduino. Why? Why? That's a huge market. Why aren't they? You know, sure, it, the bottom line profit at the end of the year that goes on the balance sheet, you know, it's it's probably not going to make a difference. But um, you need that ecosystem of, of developers and enthusiasts using your parts and then that trickles up the market to uh, you know, in, in the future, they'll start using your parts. So, really, manufacturers get behind and support these industrial, uh, these um, industry, uh, sort of, not industry standard, but, you know, sort of de facto standard uh, platforms. It's going to be a winner. So, there you go. My top five tips to the uh, semiconductor manufacturers, um, you know, how to get your uh, products, um, good market share, winning market share, and it's, it's not rocket science, it's easy. But a lot of manufacturers out there will just fail uh, many of these basic points. There'll be just an epic fire and they wonder why they're spending oodles amount of money on marketing and they're not penetrating the market. It's because you don't have what we damn well want. God, get with the program, manufacturers. See ya.